I've got three cassettes here. One, which is the uh, real to real Philips capstan cleaning cassette. And it happens to be one of those real to real cassettes that everybody is looking for, I guess. The other one. Is a pre-recorded chrome chromium dioxide cassette in a screwed shell with Phantom of the Opera stuff on it. I'll put that aside. And the third cassette is an all clear. Cannon power cassette with no clear shell. I'm thinking, wouldn't these reels look good inside that? With some chromium dioxide tape in it. Yeah, sure, I could put genuine Philips tape in it. Type 1 normal position or even that older Philips tape in it or newer Philips tape in it or even genuine chrome Philips tape in it but this, this tape seems to be damaged by the pinch roller parking on the tape so I'm going to go with this chromium dioxide tape on these reels inside this shell wish me luck Okay, so this is Alright, so we're just making. And we are. That is that thousand. So, that's one reel. Okay. Okay, we're just going to cancel that reel in. We're going to get going. And we're going to wind this up on that reel. Like that, and like that, and like that. More like this. And that's it for that one. Now we're going to get the tape on this reel. Gently, with the tape screwdriver. Get the locks out, which is not easy. I need to put the wrong thing inside that one. So, we've got two reels. And this is going to be going. You're not going to get off almost. Then we can get a crime tape onto those reels. We'll get some spares and cheese to do those things. Um, yeah. This is going to be way up there. So, what we're going to have to do is just have to take off the top of the thing. It's really going to be all the way down to the goose. And we'll be locked into place in there. Okay. So, I've got the tape through the reel. And then we've got these in there. The locking cab. We'll get the tape straight out of it. So, nice. Then we've got the tape here, okay. I need to get up the as well. So, someone's there. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's put it in the middle of 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 the I don't touch the tape when it's doing that, especially not the minute of the tape. So, um, alright, so the tape's flying smoothly from one to another one, and I'll just wander back until we get the whole reel onto the pattern reel that we want. I'll pull for that. Alright, I've got the tape back in the show, instead of taking out the calling, and I've got a horrible idea. I'm going to take the show, and I'm going to take the whole thing from calling, I can just rewind it like that manually. Yeah, that's just a call. If it's not a picture, it's just a call, and call, and call. Now, I've got that far, and I'll just put it down with it. Alright, then we'll take the manual to the first part of the reel, and we're going to rewind it onto the second reel, and we'll just go from there. Now I'm going to take this and cut it off again before we're on the other reel. Okay, second lock tab onto the reel. Through the slot, like that. We'll push it onto the screwdriver. Change the tool the rest of the tape through the other tape. And let's get there. And we'll close it. And then this again. Put it in place. And let's see if it's a real joint. So we've got that far. Next step. Add the other sets together. Control the thing, pick up the thing. Just one of the tabs in there. Mm. Boom. Here's the other set for the reels. Screws out. 
the thing that makes a brand new unused cell size last. Then he's a transfer of technology. And he runs through your eyes. Yeah, he must be talking about itself, he's a shell. Let's do it like this with the Nagai on the angle. This one, for instance, that route is strike, and everyone will be in there. But, like I said, this is a nice type, it's a brand new type, never used. So that's what the guy's going to be able to do. He's going to have a shell that's right. Like that. And he's a transfer of technology. He's going to have to wait. He's going to have to wait for the same way to do it. Alright, this time can't use the black dollar, deals in the corners there, inside, because it didn't dine into the hole in it. But, here we go, that's a big change to the technology. Let's put some tensions on the curve. There we go, it's cruising, and black screws, let's see the black screws there. Let's have a look at the black screws. These black screws, the long wheels are pretty good. This is going properly. That did fit, but it's not going this way. This one's good. So is this one. And this one will be good. Thank you. But anyway, we're on masterpiece. These are like a little bit of a... And of course, we got the green dots on taking this. Which is black. So this is good. Yep. It does look good. We're in this green body. That does it. No. Not to be insane. So does it work? Kind of. Would I recommend someone does this? No, not really. So, as you probably worked out from the video earlier, I haven't had much luck with the hubs in the Canon Power shell. So I reshelled the hubs into a Maxell UE shell, which is a bit slack, a bit more, mm, more forgiving, let's just say. And these fit into the Maxell UE shell just fine and work, out, work with no friction whatsoever. There's no friction stopping these, the cassette screwed tight. And it works perfectly. Now the only issue is tape shedding, I think. On rewinding the tape, I think it's shedding its um, Coating. That's another issue for another day. I might retape it again. I've ended up with a nice, humble looking um, capstan cleaner cassette. That's where the hubs are from. And a beautiful looking, um, what looks like a Philips cassette, but it's in a Maxell shell and now with black rollers on a steel pin as the Canon Power Cassette which is this one didn't have the steel pins, had plastic pins and large holes in the rollers um, and the case was too tight so yeah retaping re is an issue for another day but I'm really happy with the way it works in this shell I can't play too much of that music that's on there, it's Phantom of the Opera, but that works really well. Um, fast forward, works beautifully, rewind, beautiful, nice and quiet. And it plays fine. Really happy with how it works. Thanks for watching.